Aloha, everybody. Welcome to today's Haleo Maliola Health Presentation. Today, we are doing our Health Corner presented by me. My name is Walker, and I think we're going to be talking about some really cool stuff that I hope all of you get a lot out of. We are going to be discussing COVID, right? I know that the news can be a little bit scary for all of us right now. Uh, with everything going on and the surge happening. And I just want to help us all be sure that we are ready and as protected as we possibly can be. So with that in mind, we are going to talk about vaccines first. Woo! All right. So how many of you have gotten your vaccines? How many of you have gotten both of your jabs? Yeah, I hope I see I hope I see everyone's hand up. Good job everybody, right? It's very very important that we get our vaccines because they do what? Who wants to raise your hand and tell us what the vaccines do? How do they help us? How about you? Oh, I was, Sol Ray, do you know? One moment. Oh, Barbara. No, you say. What do you want to say? I need it. Show me sick. How do the vaccines help us, Barbara? Don't get sick. You don't get sick, right? Right. Good. Does anyone want to add to that? Soul Ray. I'm here. Uh, Walker, I did get my vaccine, two vaccine shots, and my booster. Oh, you got your booster too? Awesome. Yep, yep. November 22nd. Cool. We'll be talking about that next. Um, how about Kalima O'Maui, Mo O'Maui, who over there has something to add? How do the vaccines help us? <clears throat> Hi, Walker. See? Hello. Um, the vaccine help us to stay healthy. They do. They help us to stay healthy. They help, yeah. they help teach our immune system. They teach our bodies how to best fight COVID off, right? So it's kind of like sending your body to school so that it knows what to do if it ever meets COVID. Did you know that you need vaccines to be able to participate in most things now? How many of you knew that? How many of you knew that you kind of have to have a vaccine to go into different places, right? Awesome. Lots of you are really, really up and with it on everything COVID and vaccine. Good job, everyone. Um, what about our boosters? Who has gotten their boosters? I know Sol Ray has. Ooh, lots of hands. Good job. Is anybody waiting to get a booster? Good. I'm glad to see all of you are going out and getting your boosters as soon as you possibly can. It's very, very important that we get our boosters because just like how uh, we can learn things and then kind of forget them, so can our bodies. So we have to kind of keep sending our bodies to school so that they know what to do when they meet COVID, right? We have to keep teaching our bodies what to do. And that's kind of what the booster shots do. It's just a little bit of the same stuff it learned before. Um, it's can, it can kind of be thought of as a refresher. So you're just kind of going in and 
you're having your teacher go over and review what you already studied in school. And that's just what the booster shots do. They're really simple, they're really easy, and you they're even easier on our bodies than the first shots were. So if you kind of felt groggy the first time you got a shot or the second time you got a shot, then the boosters will probably make you feel less groggy or less tired, right? Good job, everybody. Now, that, oops. Vaccines are one way that we can protect ourselves from COVID. What's another way? Who wants to raise their hand and tell the whole room what another way we can protect ourselves from COVID is? Nicole? Nick. <clears throat> okay, vaccine are one way to protect yourself from COVID. What is another way? Yeah, do you know? Do you know another way to protect yourself from COVID? Yep, I still, I still wear a mask every time. Perfect. Wear your masks. Good job, Nicole. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yes, Nicole hit the nail on the head with that one. We should wear our masks. Does anybody know how our masks protect us from COVID? Does anyone want to raise their hand and tell the Kyle, how do the masks protect us? Oh, the immune system. The immune system. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? The Can immune you... system. Go ahead. Sorry. The immune system protects us from COVID. It does. How do masks protect us? From you know? spreading germs. Right. From They protect us from spreading germs. Barbara, do you have something to add to that? Yeah, I, oh, Nicole, I go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah, and one thing, I heard that we didn't even have the whole, whole walk, so we, we stayed home and Good. Yes, yes, yep, yes. And just stay home. Yes, it's very important to stay home if you're going to a large event and you're a little bit worried about COVID. That's a good suggestion, Nicole. Does anybody know how, can anyone go a little bit further on how masks protect us and why it's important to wear our masks? Barbara. There we go. Barbara, how the flu. That... go ahead? Get a germs. Get a germs. Yeah. Yes, they stop us from breathing in germs, right? Yeah. Um, just to go into that a little bit further. Good job, Barbara. COVID is something that we can spread kind of like the flu by sneezing and by breathing out, right? Because when we sneeze, we go achoo and we blow out a whole bunch of germs or we can if we have COVID. And so our masks work to protect us by acting like a barrier like this. And so the germs can't get through the mask right? And also, they help to protect everyone else around us by stopping us from breathing out germs. Because you can actually have COVID and not even know it, right? Especially if you have a vaccine. So if you have your vaccines and your body's doing a super, super good job of, of um, fighting COVID, then your body can do such a good job that you don't even get symptoms and you don't know you're sick. And so when you don't know you're sick, you can still spread it if you are. Good job, everybody. Now, 
Oops. When should we wear our masks? Who wants to raise their hand and give me some examples of when we should wear our mask? Or when you when do you wear your mask? Gilbert? So when do I wear a mask is when I go out in public and go on a restaurant and go into stores. Good job, Gilbert. Yes, that is perfect. When you're going out and in public and you're interacting with other people, that is when you should wear a mask. Gabriel, do you want to add to that? Yes, nope. I go. Go ahead. Yes, yes, I go out. I go out outside. Go to the store, and uh, and to make sure you guys stay about six feet away from people, so you just so you don't get people. Yes, so. that is another really really good way that we can all protect ourselves, right? And what do we call that when we stay six feet away from people? When we're staying a distance away from people. Does anyone remember the word for that? Barbara? Inches. Say again? Inches. Inches. <laughs> yep, you say you you stay a lot of inches away from people. Um, but the word I was actually looking for, or the uh, words was is social distancing. Hands up if you've heard that. Hands up if you've heard that on the news or in buildings or in day program. Yeah, I think all of us have now because we've been dealing with COVID for a long time, right? Um, good job, everybody. Does anyone else want to give us some examples of when we should wear a mask and when we should practice our social distancing? Sol Ray? Do we have to social distance while playing uh, athletic activities? Good, perfect. So we have to social distance while we're playing sports with other people. Good, good. Nikki and Noi, do you have anything to add? We should be social distancing, especially in inside inside like buildings oh perfect good job thank you so much that's the perfect one anytime we're inside and around other people we should be social distancing and wearing our masks nicole kelly what do you have to add to this uh, i say uh, every time uh, uh, we uh, say every time take a walk if there's someone coming put on your mask Good job. These are all such great suggestions. I'm so proud of all of you for really being with it and having it down and knowing all of this. And I think we can kind of take all of this and put it together and say that we should be practicing our social distancing and our masks and, and wearing our masks just kind of when we're around other people, right? Ooh, Kalima Omawi. They had a great suggestion. When you go to the library, you should wear a mask. Nikki Wayne went, says when she goes to the gym, she wears a mask. Good job. Yeah. Kailani, good, good job. Saying that when she's uh, when we're playing football. Seth when we is saying when we go to movies or we're in stores. I see people suggesting when we're getting haircuts, that's a really good one, right? Because if we're getting a haircut, there's someone right next to us and we're kind of breathing all the same air. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right. So I listed a few small examples here. Um, when we're out in public in general, so kind of when we leave the house, we should wear our masks and practice social distancing. When we're indoors with other people, when we're shopping and when we're dining out. Why is it so especially important to wear your masks and social distance when you're inside? 
Does anyone want to tell everybody else? Who wants to take a crack at this question? Ooh, Kalima O'Maui. I see a hand up there. Okay. Now we're unmuted. What was it, Mina? You're you're why unmuted. Why do we wear a mask inside? Why is it so super important? So we gotta keep out of germs. No. Keep away. Keep the germs. Just kill the germs themselves. Yep, that's right. That's good. That's good um, to keep the germs away. And let's actually kind of think about this one a little bit. When we're inside versus when we're outside, is the air flowing around or is it just kind of staying in one place? Can we put that into the chat box? Who thinks? Yes, Solray. What about what about when a per when a when a person's eating, they have to take off their masks. They do. So uh, when we're eating or drinking, we do obviously have to take off our masks so we can get stuff in our mouths. Um, but that's also why it's important to wear your masks when you're dining out, when you aren't eating or drinking. So if you're sitting at the table and you're not eating or drinking, you should wear your mask because so many other people are eating and drinking and they're going to have to take off their masks, right? Good job. Um, so when we're inside, it's very, very important to wear our masks and do our social distancing because all of that air just kind of stays still. But if we're outside, there's wind and the air moves around and also there's a lot more air. So if we breathe out, all of that air gets spread out all over outside, right? And so there, the germs spread out and the germs spread out so much that it's really, really hard for enough of them to get into our bodies and possibly infect us. But inside the air is still and the germs can kind of build up. Good job, everybody. So now that we've talked about inside, should we wear our masks outside? Who wants to take this? I see a lot of head nodding. Does anyone want to raise their hand? Should we wear our masks outside, Davis? Yes, no, maybe? Okay. Um, who else wants to take a crack at that one? Gabriel. Yes, we do. But if you do go outside, you also be being hand hands hand to tight with you just in case though hand tight just in case. Yes, I'm glad you brought up hand sanitizer. We haven't talked about that one yet, right? Mm -hmm. Uh do you want to tell everyone why it's important to use hand sanitizer? Yes. Well, if you go somewhere, you always have to make sure if, if you touch something, you gotta make sure you make sure you don't with that, you gotta make sure you make it all clean. If not, then you knows to happen yes yes because hand what gabriel what does hand sanitizer kill what does it do jobs and everything it kills jobs and everything yes yeah. perfect yeah. it kills germs good job uh, so the hand sanitizer can kill germs. So if you touch something and that has germs on it, the hand sanitizer can take care of that, right? 
And hand sanitizer doesn't just kill COVID germs, it kills all kinds. It, it kills flu germs, it kills cold germs, and it's just a really good job or really good idea to wash your hands regularly. Good job. If, again, I just wanna say, if you're around other people, it's generally a good rule to wear a mask. So wear a mask, social distance, and do all of that stuff that we've learned how to do over the last two years. Good job, everybody. Oops. Um, good job, everybody. Now, before we move on and we close out and we enjoy our, our talk story time, does anyone want to talk a little bit about some of the places that might, we're going to go back a little bit, some of the places that, or some of the things that we do that might require vaccines? What is a thing that we might need vaccines to be able to do? There's one thing in particular I'm thinking about. Solray? Yes, Walker. Uh, UH. I have yet to go to a UH event. Uh, they, I know they require people to va be vaccinated, but I haven't had the courage to go to a UH event especially, but I want to go to one in two weeks if oh. the conditions allow. Wow, that is such a good answer, Sol Ray. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, but, he's told, oops, sorry, I muted you. Go ahead, Sol Ray. The event I want to go to is Wahine Basketball, and they haven't seen me in literally almost two years. I know, so, it's it's been hard, Um, but yes, they... U, uh, UH requires that we have our vaccines. We have to have our vaccines to even go on campus, so to go around their buildings. And that's because they want to try to protect everybody as much as possible. What is one other thing that's really, really important to have a vaccine for? Otherwise, you can't do it. And I want you all to think about where we are right now and maybe who is putting on this event right now that we're all on Zoom for? Gabriel? Well, I don't know why, I don't know for sure, okay, but I want to tell each and every one of you, you have to be, be aware of, 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 of the new, of the new, of the new virus types of that, that appeared before BDBB. You have to be very careful of the new of the new Delta variant that's 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 mutating. So, so you have to be very certain though. Okay, when you go on, yeah, yeah, that is that is a good thing to be aware of. Remember, the virus and COVID can kind of change over time, um, and so we're kind of working through a newer version of it right now. But that shouldn't change how we act, right? We should still wear our masks, socially distance, get our boosters, do all that stuff. And the thing I was actually thinking about as far as uh, our vaccines and when we might need them, we talked a little bit about UH sporting events, but what about Special Olympics big events? Do we need vaccines for that? Do we need our vaccines to play in a big state games? Sol Ray? Uh, the last, the, the comeback games, yes, we did. Yes, we did need our vaccines for comeback games. Good job, Sol Ray. So I just want to remind everybody, if you're kind of thinking about maybe delaying your booster, or if you know someone that really wants to support you in your Special Olympics activities, but they're not vaccinated, you should really suggest that they get vaccinated so they can come watch you, right? Right? Thumbs up? 
Good job, everybody. Okay. Um, thank you all so much for just covering that COVID refresher with me today. As always, if any of you have any health questions, paleo maleola questions, incentive questions, or song requests, you can email me. Again, my name is Walker. My email is ha at sohawaii.org, and I promise to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember, send through your song requests. Friday's dance is going to be a blast. I know it's on Christmas Eve. But just to try to get as many of you there as possible, I will be announcing who has gotten their first incentive. And I believe I have, oh, I was wrong. Um, uh, this first incentive that we are giving away is our Haleo Maliola face masks. They're really cool. They're really, really pretty. One of our very own staff members designed them. Uh, so I'm very excited to give all of them out to everyone that has been coming to our virtual events. And I can't wait to see all of you wearing them. And as always, we have our Wednesday workout. This coming week, we have Coach Denise back for us. The ID for that is 815-3406. 5939. And that's on Wednesday, December 22nd at 3.30 p.m. I cannot wait to see all of you there. I know Coach Denise is super excited. She'll be closing out this last workout of the whole year. And then we won't see you again until January for a workout. Thank you all so much for coming today. Um, I hope you all got a little bit out of this and we're all remembering to do all of our social distancing and mask wearing. And now, uh, oh, I ran late on time. Um, so we'll have a little bit of talk story time and then we will close out.